What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix voice chat and audio issues when playing Rainbow Six Siege on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, open up Rainbow Six Siege and navigate to your audio settings. Here, make sure that your master volume is not muted. Set the dynamic range option to your setup. Below, set the voice chat record mode to push to talk or open depending on what you prefer, but I suggest getting used to push to talk. Set the voice chat record level to 100 and voice chat record threshold to around 30. This will depend on your microphone setup. In case none of your teammates can hear you, then make sure to lower the voice chat record threshold. After verifying your audio settings, you can close the game. Right click the sound icon in your taskbar and select open sound settings. On this window, make sure to set the output and input device to your main device. Under Manage Sound Devices, you can select to test or disable your devices. This is essential to troubleshoot any hardware issues. Also, testing your device with another source, such as a video on YouTube, will help you determine where the issue is coming from. In your advanced sound settings, you can assign the input and output devices for each application as well as changing the volume. After tweaking your settings, you can close this window and search for a device manager in your taskbar search and hit enter. On this window, expand audio inputs and outputs. Here, right click the output sound device you prefer to use, select update driver and make sure to search automatically for updated driver software. This will take a minute to make sure that your device's driver is up to date. When this is done and the issue persists, then your game files might be corrupted. To fix this, open up your Steam library and right click Rainbow Six Siege and select Properties. On this window, in the Local Files tab, select Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will take a minute to redownload and replace any missing or corrupted game files. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.